Hello and welcome to the Love Island Lowdown, RadioTimes.com's Love Island Companion Series, where we unpack some of the biggest dramas to happen from the winter season. I'm Lauren Morris, Entertainment and Factual Writer. And I'm Grace Henry, the Entertainment and Factual Editor. And as always, we start off with Can I Call You for Catch Up, where we talk about the biggest points from the last week. Uh, as always, this is episode four, but we'll be talking about what's happened in the week before and looking forward to the weekend. So Grace, I mean, I guess we've got to start off with Casa Moore. Yeah, finally it's here. Finally. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit later than usual. It usually happens around week four and now we're going into week five, but mm. it's finally here and I'm hoping that it's going to give Love Island that spark that we've been wanting yeah. this season. Finally, I, I feel like I'm glad that they did delay it mm. because a week ago, there weren't really any couples that I would say were fan favourites. Yeah really or were really sort of concrete in terms of being together where now i feel there is a bit more that could be shaken up yeah because obviously people. we have ron and lana back together yeah. we have shaq and tanya although they are a little bit yeah. have a little bit of issues they are kind of back together still and um yeah so i think it'll be interesting to see what happens mm. with catherine Moore being here and who's ever going to be ruffled who's going to split who's going to stay together but yeah, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. We kind of touched on it before, but like this year, I feel it's been lacking in a little bit of spark in a sense. Mm. We have a lot of couples, but no one seems to be as solid. We've got Tanya and Shaq, obviously, and they're very solid. And then we have Ron and Lana, who seem to be really into each other. But apart from them, there just seems to be loads of couples, but not many connections. No, and no one's really captured the public imagination mm. like... Ekinsu. Ekinsu. <laughs> and Davide. We miss Ekinsu and Davide. Mm -hmm. This year has just felt quite dry. Yeah, I feel like it's been a real slow burner. So I'm hoping that Casra Moore does what it needs to do and that mm -hmm. it understands the assignment and really brings that spark that we've been yearning for this year. I really mm -hmm. hope so. And I, I really want the producers to show a bit more of their personality. Yeah. Because it's so focused on the romance and the, the couples and mm -hmm. all the drama around that. But some of the stuff that we get to see in unseen bits, like Will leading a yoga circle, <laughs> um, or, you know, in previous years we've, we've seen them do impersonations of each other. That's the kind of stuff that you want to sort of drop in between the drama yeah. to make the public warm up to people. I feel like we saw some last night. It wasn't that exciting, but yeah. Kai and the guys were doing like a, a race with their shoes yes. in the water. So hopefully they'll be putting more of those kind of scenes in and we'll get mm. to see a little bit more of their personality. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> and I mean, with that in mind, moving on to the Factor 50 forecast, mm -hmm. um, I guess we can talk about who we think is going to stay in their couple and whose heads are going to turn. Well, obviously we have to talk about Ron, <laughs> <laughs> our main guy. He's had his head turned so many times. So I'm wondering if he's going to have his head turned this time. And you know what? I don't think he will. I think he'll enjoy it. He'll have that Catherine Moore experience. He'll talk to all the girls. But I think he's going to do a Liam and he's going to return back to the villa, hoping that no one knows what he got up to while he was there. And then he's going to be exposed. Yeah, Liam Reardon. <laughs> and I mean, at the time, it made Liam a villain. I think yeah. it wasn't last year, it was the year before. And however, he went on to win the show. He did. I actually could see Lana and Ron going the, the distance. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you're absolutely right. Ron will do a bit of flirting, mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe even a, a kiss yeah. or two. Uh, Something it, that you hope won't get found out, but yeah. it will. <laughs> but of course it will. It's love. It's Casa Moore. Mm -hmm. The postcards, the video footage. You know. But you know, he's got form for it. We know what he's like. So mm -hmm. unless Lana decides to dump him completely, I think he'll be able to come back from it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What about Tanya? As we've seen, you know, her and Shaq have been on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like Tanya could have her head turned in mm. Casa Amor. I feel like she might be more willing to talk to the guys and flirt a bit. I don't think um, Shaq is going to turn at all. I think he's so focused on Tanya. He really likes her and I think he's going to stay true to her. So I hope she doesn't come back with someone on her arm, yeah. but I really don't know. I feel like she made that comment and compared him to her ex and I'm just worried that she's ready to check out of the relationship. I think mm -hmm. Dirty Dish Gate could have come <laughs> at a worse time. For I them. know. Like, Cass and Moore happening straight after that, they haven't really reconciled. Yeah. Um, and I do just get the impression that Tanya isn't, a, isn't really I as I feel like one foot is out the door. A hundred percent. I think she's looking 
She is looking at who's going to walk in. Yeah. Vanessa and Rolf and those men. And if one of them gets on better with her than Shaq does, then... Yeah, I worry that Shaq will be on his own. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so as well. And then I guess we've got to talk about Tom. Yeah, so obviously Tom is with Sammy now and they seem to be getting on very, very well. But, you know, we know what Tom is like and we've seen in previous episodes, you know, he's the ladies' man. Yeah. They all seem to like him. So I'm just wondering if he could have his head turned. I feel if there is a girl who's really forward and, you know, puts it on him, you know, he could potentially leave Sammy. Yeah, and I, I think without Sammy being there, mm -hmm. he will not forget about her but if she's out of sight she's out of mind yeah that's what i think so yeah i think his head might be turned but i also think maybe sammy will come back with another man do you think so if she finds someone because i'm not gonna lie i don't think tom and sammy's relationship <laughs> is particularly electric i feel like she's really brought him out of his shell like mm. before he you know he's quite quiet he didn't you know say as much but i think since he's been coupled up with sammy i've seen like more of tom than yeah. i ever have yeah mm. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they will go the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Never well. And then I guess we've got Oliver and Kai, who have been together a few weeks now, but is, are, they, are they genuine? I don't know. <laughs> I think that Olivia is going to have her head turned. Mm -hmm. um, last night when they were speaking, Kai basically said that he thinks he's the least liked in the villa, in the villa, and I think that Olivia wants to win. Yeah. And I think that comment might spare her to kind of speak to some new guys and just see who she gets on with. And I think if they're more her type, that relationship could be over. I mean, she yeah. even said last night, like, "Oh, I'm not 100 percent tied down. Yeah. And I, I can't say that my head won't be turned." Yeah. And I think she's laying she's the kinda, groundwork. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's keeping her options open, and she's saying all the right things so that once it happens, we're not like, "But you said you were in Sakai." So yeah, I think she knows what she's doing. <laughs> and not to be cynical, but their relationship has been one of convenience. Yeah, it kind of yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to see whether the Castlemore boys and the Castlemore girls manage to. Yeah. Charm either of them. <laughs> um, and then our newest couple, Casey and Claudia. And Claudia. See, I think they really like each other, but I guess it's just too early to say. So They've early. only been coupled up officially for a couple of days. Mm. Now Casper and Moore is here. Could they find someone that they get on better with? Potentially. It's like, it's going to be the same length of the relationship that they've had. So, you know, the competition is on. Mm. And I do think that they both could, yeah, they could have their heads turned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that might stop them is the fact that they weren't up for elimination. Yeah. Uh, from the public vote and they even put in the last night's show and they were like, oh wow, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. So but they might be like riding on that success really and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, remembering that when it comes to the recapping, like the public like them together. So mm -hmm. maybe they should stay together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll drive off into the sunset <laughs> with uh, Claudia's dad. <laughs> Um, well, yes, that's it for this week's episode of the Love Island Lowdown. Thanks again for tuning in and make sure to watch next week for all our latest predictions and news.